Welcome to Whitley Bay High School. This is my school. This is our school. We like it. And I think you will like it too. I've only just started here, but I found it really easy to settle in and all the teachers are really nice. I've just started in the sixth form and I've discovered new subjects for the first time in years. In the next few minutes, we want to show you just how much fun it can be to learn at Whitley Bay High School. Next, I have history with Miss Welsh. History is not all about writing and reading or taking notes or learning dates. History is fun. We get to do group work and role play to make the lesson more enjoyable. And the students for the first time are learning about prohibition, which is obviously what happened in America in the 1920s because that's their topic for this year. So it was just uh, getting them to get an insight into what prohibition actually was and the reasons why prohibition was introduced into America in the first place. One of the key things both for English and for history, they need to like emphasise with those people and imagine what they're feeling, which is why I did give them like a variety of kind of sources to try and get them to think about how people in America would feel at the time. That's a really like vital skill that they need to like be successful in history. On each table they've got sources that they need to look at in order for them to learn a little bit more about prohibition because on the exam they're going to sit in June, they have to be able to analyse sources effectively. So I made sure that the person they were sitting next to was of a similar ability, but the person they were sat opposite to was of a slightly weaker ability so that the weaker students and the brighter students could help each other out that way. They need to be able to feel that they can ask or they can contribute because that's one of the ways that they obviously learn and develop. So it is important that they feel we can have a rapport. It's not just me standing at the front teaching them. They ask questions as well. And obviously that's somewhere some of the best debates come from when the students ask something. Until I looked at my choices, I'd never really thought about economics. Now I'm taking a brand new subject for the first time in ages. At sixth form, you're encouraged to learn independently, but don't worry, you still get all the help you need from teachers. Economics is a study of how to allocate scarce resources in the best possible way. So this is broken down to a number of different topics, um, one being elasticity, so how a change in price is going to affect the quantity demanded of a product. This is something they've not done before in GCSE, so we've come across a lot of new key terms to pick up. Uh, so we find it's a really good way of getting them to remember the key terms and take an active part and key term definition, linking it around the room, everyone's involved, so there's that interdependence on everyone in the class to get involved. When we did the washing line activity, uh, it's quite a nice way for students to get their judgement across and how they feel, but we're trying to look at it from a market perspective, so it's hard for students to step back and think it's not your personal taste anymore, it's actually uh, everything that's going on in the market, which is quite hard to get your head around. It's quite refreshing for the students in sixth form to choose economics because it's something they've not studied before, it's, it's very different from business studies. Uh, completely new topic in terms of it's very much different from maths, English and science. But it involves a lot of prior knowledge uh, to build into that so it's a nice subject, a nice approach to take for students. As soon as the penny drops with economics with students, uh, they seem they can take it into every lesson. They can take it into things they enjoy outside of lessons as well. They watch the news with a different view. Uh, and then they bring that back into the lesson so it's always going on and the students really get involved in looking at the news and looking at things in a different economic way. There's so many different ways to learn at Whitley Bay High School. It's so different from middle school. I've got textiles with Miss Lackenby and we're making wall hangings. It's so much fun. In this particular year 9 class, they're a mixed ability class um, and at the moment we are working on a, a fantastic project and they are designing a, an individual wall panel for our partner school in Kenya um, and we've decided our theme is the alphabet um, and they've all decided to choose a different animal that begins with a certain letter of the alphabet so they are thoroughly enjoying that and the stage they're at at the moment, um, which you can see from the lesson, is actually starting to cut out their pattern pieces to actually start and make um, the wall panel that they've designed. It's going to be put together to make a whole big wall panel and be hung and I think they know that you know theirs would stand out with it if it wasn't so good so I mean you could see from the lesson a lot of the boys were going around they were cutting out using pins and and checking with me a lot more than perhaps the girls would and um, but really taking on board the advice given and, and, and making a really fantastic job of it I always like to play some music and do fun things but then there's always time for students to be independent um, and because it is their own project to, to do their own research they can go on the computer they can check with me um, and then we'll have a time where we stop and we have some thinking time and, and reflect on what we've learned um, and then they can go off again and, and get on. It's lunchtime now but this isn't all about having lunch. There's loads of activities and clubs going on so whatever your interest is definitely something for you.
really enjoy English with Ms. Patel. We have a really good laugh and we learn a lot too. Today we're learning about the Victorian society. So the students have just started at Great Expectations. We're only two lessons in, uh, but they have to understand the social context behind the text, how a Victorian audience would perceive social class and the idea of, of criminality, and then how a contemporary audience, them as readers, would, would view it very, very differently. Obviously it was set up so that the, the higher classes had the lovely sort of the gold uh, tablecloths and everything, and, and the, the sort of the posh end suites, and the, the, the middle to, well, the lower classes really had the, the newspaper which wasn't even a, a, a broadsheet newspaper I got the, the you know very local uh, one that was sort of got to represent local stories for them and then the uh, the criminals who were perceived as obviously the lowest of the low have the, the straw all over the desks and uh, and the, the gruel or in this case porridge but I treated them to a little bit of syrup in the porridge as well you know if you said to them right we're going to study Dickensian society today they might think that that was quite heavy so having the role play and the little drama activities and, and, and I think the humour is important to, to, to engage them. Amy at the front there made a prediction about the novel. She, she summed up the novel in terms of the character of Magwitch and because she was put in that position herself and she realised that actually it is incredibly corrupt and she felt misunderstood and made that link between her own uh, thoughts and emotions and the character. Next year I hope to go to university to study occupational therapy. Science here is really well taught and I particularly like applied science where you can see the impact technology has on everyday lives. Here's one fantastic lesson with Mr Branson. The lesson was based on the digestive system which the students originally studied uh, just after the summer. We have an exam on the uh, digestive system around January so we thought it would be a good idea to recap all of the key components uh, from the teeth downwards. I thought one of the best ways for the students to look at the teeth was to actually examine each other so they could see uh, what each tooth looks like and uh, have a look at the markings on those teeth so they could see what their exact function was. They're going to use uh, dental mirrors and uh, just open wide and they're going to use the mirror to see right at the back so they can go all the way from the molars at the back to the premolars and the incisors and canines at the front of the mouth. One way of assessing how well they've done is to get them to write their own questions on the subject. To be able to do that, you'd have to have a complete knowledge of what you've just studied. <laughs> and then the students can answer each other's questions around the room and then show exactly how much they have or haven't learned. key term is applied science, and we teach the students lots of scientific techniques that they would probably use if they went on to work in a scientific job, for example, in a hospital lab. Whereas biology, chemistry and physics tend to teach you more theory, which you probably would not use in a job later on in the future. Whether you're into music, drama, sport or fitness training, there's something that'll keep you in school after hours. I learned so much here. And we learn in so many different ways. Learning here is really enjoyable. We hope you've learned that it's fun to learn at Whitley Bay High School.